Hello everyone and welcome to Morning Devotions. I hope everybody's having a good day so far. Okay, I see on our prayer request, Jade K has an unspoken request. Um, 11 year old Connor needs prayer. He was diagnosed with cancer. And tweets prayer for her grandson he needs major help pray for the family to stay strong and Sharon prayer that God's will be done in her marriage uh, Ian prayers for guidance regarding employment LaShonda's family needs prayer Lisa and Will have an unspoken request Phyllis Brown, pray for her and four family members who are fighting cancer. Pat Anderson's daughter, Paula, is still in the hospital. Myla My Oyen has an unspoken request, and her aunt has uh, stage 3 lung cancer. Tim Brown had blood work that shows he has leukemia. He starts chemotherapy today. Valerie is going through the effects of chemotherapy. It's taking a toll on her. Her husband's YouTube channel is Saw Slinger. And Jessica is having surgery again regarding her cancer. Her channel is J Dubs. And Joy Stewart's cardio test was negative for heart disease. Amen. Amen, Joy. And Kara Hamill. Her autoimmune system is causing her a lot of pain. And Kara's daughter is going for a CAT scan today. Pray there's no cancer. And Tracy has a blood clot in her leg. Her legs are swollen and the meds upset her stomach. Now I know how that feels. I, I, that osteoporosis medicine that I'm supposed to be taking, I just quit, I quit taking it. And then he gave me another one that was supposed to be once a month, but in the uh, side effects, it says it could close your throat up. Well, if it did that, it would be like that for a whole month. I couldn't take that, so I just didn't take it. I don't know what to do. I can't find something, you know, that, that doesn't make me sick to take it. I don't know what, you know, I can't, I can't do that. I just, I'm already sick enough in the mornings without a, a, a pill making me sick. So I know how she feels about all that. Okay, we got the wrong page here. Today is the 10th, 10th of December, and on our journey to Christmas. This is a really neat book here. Okay, I'm gonna drink my coffee. The Bible reading today comes from Luke 2, 15 through 21. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said one to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord is, has told us about. So they hurry off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in a manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. On the eighth day, when it was time to circumcise the child, he named Jesus, the name the angel had given him before he was conceived. Okay, that's John. I got another verse here. It's John 8:12. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Amen. And our devotion today is entitled Christmas Lights. Each year for several weeks around Christmas, Singapore's tourist belt, Orchard Road, is transformed into a wonderland of lights and colors. This light-up display is designed to distract tourists to spend their money at the many shops along the street during this golden month of business. Shoppers come to enjoy the festivities, listen to choirs, 
sing familiar Christmas carols, and watch performers entertain. The first ever Christmas light-up was not created by electrical cables, glitter, and neon lights, but by the glory of the Lord that shone around. No tourists saw it, just a few shepherds out in their field, and it was followed by an unexpected announcement of glory to God in the highest by an angelic host. The shepherds went to Bethlehem to see if what the angel said was true. After they had confirmed it, they could not keep to themselves what they had heard and seen. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. Many of us had heard, have heard the Christmas story often. This Christmas, why not share the good news with others that Christ, the light of the world, has come? Lord, help me this Christmas to share the light of your presence and goodness to others. And Lord, please, please, I want to pray for everybody on the prayer list and hope that all of them can be healed of whatever their problem is, Lord. And please help them and help anybody else out there that needs it. In the Lord's name I pray, amen. I hope you all enjoyed this morning's devotions. Please press that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that so that you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I'll see you all in a little bit on morning coffee break. God bless everybody. Bye-bye.